Hi, this is Micah Monroe with the Micah Monroe team at Remax Hallmark. And today I'm really excited because um, I'm gonna talk to you about upstaging. So uh, not a lot of people know what upstaging is um, because it's a new term that we've trademarked. Upstaging is a combination of renovations and staging. See, most people when they list their house, they you know think about bringing in a stager in and maybe moving some furniture we actually will take a look at your property and do a detailed report on what you can do renovation wise and staging to really maximize um, your sale and uh, this is really special because i'm actually going to take you through we're getting our own house ready to sell so i'm going to take you through some clips uh, of us actually going through the process of getting the rooms ready the bedrooms our closets decluttering uh, moving furniture around, switching bedrooms around, uh, really getting our house uh, ready to maximize the return of the sale. Okay, here's Olivia. This is our third floor. Livy, what are we doing? We're doing stuff. A little upstage. See, we're doing a little upstage. We're doing a little upstage. We're getting this place ready. We're planning to list it soon, so you can see it's in the middle of chaos. Pulling everything out of the closets, moving the beds around. So it's going from a two plus one bedroom to a three bedroom. All right, we're getting the main floor ready here. Some new lighting, just took down these lights. You can see the hallway's dark. We're gonna put up these what do you call these lights, Len? Pendant lights? Mm -hmm. We're gonna put up, so we've already done one. More modern and classy, we're gonna do that one. We've already switched our master bedroom around. It was upstairs. So now we put the, the girls, we had the bunk beds in here. If any of you have seen pictures on Facebook. So we're turning this back to a true master because it's the biggest room in the house. This one we're turning into a little one bedroom with a little office, a little desk. And then upstairs where we had our master bedroom, we're turning into another uh, bedroom um, for the kids. But we're all sleeping. You'd think we were sleeping in here, but no. Our youngest daughter gets the king size bed for the sale. Lindsay and I get a double bed upstairs and Gabby gets a single and uh, we have to all switch go to different closets to get our clothes but this is what you got to do to get the best price all right so I already told you that we switched our beds around this used to be our master bedroom now we're still sleeping in here but on a double bed <laughs> now we got to get rid of the night tables empty the night tables get rid of this closet or not closet uh uh you know what i'm talking about that brown thing over there in the corner and uh you know make this room look incredible Lindsay will do her magic all right next steps getting the closets ready for sale so this was full like packed i've already filled that box up with all my hanging stuff, jackets, sweaters, all that good stuff. Took a bunch of stuff out of here. That's all, that was all up there. Lindsay's gonna do hers. So mine looked more like this, even probably fuller. All right, now I'm taking off all the baby gates in the house. Baby gates are no good for the sale. All right, taking down the blinds for the sale. You can see I've already taken these down. We're gonna have to paint this room because it's not neutral. And I still gotta take these down. And uh, yeah, we'll have to fill the holes and paint everything. All right, all right. So we have now emptied our living room. And the place is being painted. We're gonna have this floor sanded. We had to take everything down to the basement. 
Fun times. Emptying the house out, getting rid of furniture, my office gone, filing cabinet, it's gonna go. Piano's gonna go, girls' toys gonna go, boxes. All getting out of here and you see all this art is getting ready to go up. All that art is gonna go up. Lindsay's gonna make this place look incredible. All right, so here's what we're using just to stage, just the basement bedrooms. There's a couple blow up mattresses here, some fake plants, and a whole bunch of accessories. This is one of Lindsay's storage rooms. There's Lindsay, hey babe. Hi. We just had new carpet going in the basement bedrooms. And uh, so we're just gonna stage them. The rest of the house is being painted. The floors are being sanded. We're gonna come back tomorrow and Sunday to uh, stage the rest of the house. All right, it was a busy night last night. We were stuck out of our unit until like 10.30 at night because the floors were being re-sanded, refinished. We found an amazing company. Did it for 950 bucks and it looks beautiful. We had all these worn spots and spots for moisture where the girls had spilt water and they're all gone. It looks beautiful. It came in and they sanded it. It's pretty neat. They uh, and they didn't they didn't even go into the bedrooms, but uh, but you can't uh, really see a difference or much of a difference at all. So it looks great. So today and downstairs we were working putting in a new vanity in the basement. I'll show you that later. New countertops. But let the games begin. Today and tomorrow are all day staging. All right, painting is pretty much done. Hey babe. Hey. And now it's stage day, today and tomorrow. So Lindsay's getting art ready. And we're gonna rearrange this family room. And uh, you know, the painting throughout the house is pretty much done. The sanding of the floors. Now we just gotta beautify it. All right, it's stage day. Weather's not cooperating with us. It's raining out there. Late last night, we took a load from the house to the storage locker and then brought a load back of staging stuff. And we're gonna get staging. Lindsay's, I think, vacuuming. Last night she uh, she uh, steam cleaned the carpets upstairs, so they're pretty almost dry. You can see we'll be bringing a table in and getting this unit good to go, and the basement good to go. And uh, you know, one thing is is in you know I got. Uh, uh, Daniel from Junk Out coming to pick up a bunch of our junk, the vanity boxes. You can see it all down there. Don't kill yourself, you know. Pay for help when you can in the grand scheme of things. You may spend a few hundred bucks, but you won't kill yourself and you'll get it back on the sale of your home. Okay, so we've been working our butts off. I just replaced like 15 light bulbs. Lindsay's put up like, I don't know. A million pieces of art. Here's a sneak peek. Not completely done, but getting there. Not gonna show you the rest of the rooms. You can see that when we list it in the listing video and the listing photos. So some other things that we did in the basement, we swapped out the vanity for a really nice, um, more modern, smaller vanity, made the bathroom feel bigger. We swapped out uh, light bulbs throughout the house uh, just to make sure that everything's as bright as possible. We added a lot of lighting to the basement, side light, side bed lighting and, um, and uh, in the living room. Just wanna make it feel as bright as possible and as big as possible. Um, the other thing that we did is we, you know, fresh paint. We, we painted uh, a lot of the house. Uh, we painted 
the front porch, the back door, just to make everything look really nice and crisp. Um, you know, paint is one of those things that is not that expensive and goes a long way. You really get a, a good bang for your buck. Curb appeal is a really inexpensive way to maximize your return. So we had, um, you know, a gardener come by, clean up the garden, clean up the front, the back of the garden, make sure everything's uh, trimmed nicely, make sure everything's weeded and, you know, put down some, some extra black mulch uh, just so it looks really clean and crisp. Um, and again, curb appeal is a, is a really inexpensive way to get a big bang for your buck. So uh, to give you an idea of your return on the return on investment of upstaging, we bought this property about five years ago for just over 1.4 million. And we probably have put about $100,000 into major renovations, um, like stone countertops. We redid the backyard, put a lot of money into the backyard. But upstaging uh, was probably another five or 10,000 into painting and all of that stuff, the vanity. And we've just listed the house for sale for 2.5 million. So yes, the Toronto market has been you know, going up substantially in value, but upstaging is a great way to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. And remember, if it's your primary residence, that's tax free. You know, it's you know, show me anywhere else you can make that kind of return on your on your money. Um, so, if you have any questions, if you'd like a free upstaging consultation, you know, give us a call, shoot me an email or a text. Micah Monroe with the Micah Monroe team at Remax Hallmark.